Hi, my name is Eric Epperly. I'm with the Carroll Fire District in Carroll, New York. Uh, we're a rural fire department uh, just south of the state capital, about 40 miles. Um, we primarily serve a rural area, so our truck was based quite a bit on that service area. So this truck is replacing a truck that is 27 years old. Uh, this truck has a bigger pump, more water on it, um, and more compartment space to carry more equipment. The cab is a Spartan Gladiator. Uh, it's very similar to a cab that we already have. We wanted to keep uh, it as similar as possible to our existing truck, just for training purposes and getting people familiarized with it. Um, the one unique feature it does have for us is we now have a, in the back a command desk area so that at extended incidents, we have the ability to um, provide b better command and control uh, as far as uh, overall direction of the scene. As I said before, uh, this truck is an upgrade in uh, the pump. Uh, we're now going to a 1500 gallon per minute pump with front suction as well as an LDH discharge on the uh, officer side of the truck um, just to increase our uh, firefighting capability. Uh, in the uh, curbside uh, number one compartment here, primarily uh, this will be where we'll have our ventilation fans, gas powered positive pressure fan, uh, electric box fan, as well as a, a small Honda generator. Up on the upper uh, shelf here will just be for storage of related accessories. In the number two curbside compartment, this will primarily be for our ventilation saw, as well as uh, regular wood chainsaw, uh, as well as you know, related gas and uh, bar oil type things. Curbside number three compartment. Uh, this compartment's a little bit unique in that we have a transverse uh, shelving unit. Uh, we wanted to get away from the traditional rear compartment that uh, really it was tough to accommodate to put any equipment in there. Uh, so what we've done is taken our pike poles off the outside of the truck, put them in transverse storage tubes. We also have uh, transverse shelves for our longer, uh, bulkier tools um, that allow us to, again, take them off the outside of the truck, get them inside where uh, the road salt and uh, chemicals uh, don't uh, wreak havoc with them. We also have a 200-foot uh, cord reel, as well as uh, poly storage boxes. Okay, on the back of uh, our new truck, uh, we went with a access step ladder um, just to try and get away from having uh, people having to try and climb up the smaller uh, individual steps. Uh, so that was more of a safety concern. Uh, we have covered hose bed uh, with a tr tread plate uh, two-piece cover. Also up top is a uh, Wilbert light tower, uh, as well as the hydraulic generator and uh, booster reel. In the uh, driver's side or street side uh, number three compartment, uh, you'll see on the bottom we have our uh, transverse shelves coming over from the other side, as well as uh, our pike pole tubes, uh, which will allow us to put them in or bring them out from either side. Um, additionally, in here we'll store our hydrant bag, uh, as well as uh, chimney flare uh, kits up in the uh, poly box storage, uh, as well as just some other mis miscellaneous equipment. In the uh, street side number two compartment, we have a heavy duty uh, pull out tool board with pack track on both sides, as well as on the back of the compartment. This will allow us to uh, not only mount tools now, but also in the future to adjust uh, really easily uh, what tools we carry and uh, where they are placed. In the street side number one compartment, this is uh, primarily for all of our pump operator accessories. Up on top here, we have another uh, packed tool board where all of our fittings will be placed, uh, light tower control. Uh, on the bottom, there will be uh, shell, or excuse me, uh, dividers so that we, we so store short lengths of hose in um, just for hooking up to other trucks. Uh, and then the shelving here will just simply be for floating strainer and a low level strainer. On the pump panel, uh, you can see up top, our hydraulic generator is located up in the dunnage area. We have two cross lays, a uh, radio box for our uh, two different radios that we uh, carry on the truck. Uh, we also have generator controls, uh, various lighting controls, pressure gauges, uh, engine status center. Um, water level gauge, which we also have around the truck, remote displays, so from any angle on the truck you can see what the uh, booster tank level is. Uh, all discharges are color-coded uh, and labeled as to their function, 
which match the individual discharge as well as uh, drain valves. Um, somewhat new for us are the electronic valve controls uh, and the air prime system. So on the front of our uh, new engine tanker, uh, we actually uh, went with a new SVI toolbox bumper. This allowed us to get a lot more uh, appliances and features on the front bumper. You can see we have the uh, six inch front suction. We also have uh, two bumper line pre-connects uh, housed under this lid. Oops. Uh, also uh, a commemorative bell uh, the department wanted, uh, as well as uh, siren, mechanical siren, as well as electronic siren and air horns on the front bumper. So going with this new style bumper allowed us to be able to get uh, all these features on, um, which we're very happy with the way that it turned out.